Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE High Revision video. There's a week or seven days to go into your GCSE Mavs exam, so keep up the hard work, you're doing really well, you're nearly there. And today we're going to be focused on trigonometry, and I've created a mix of trigonometry questions because we've looked at trigonometry, 3D trigonometry, the sine rule, the cosine rule, a half AB sine C and so on, exact trig values. We've looked at those all previously. So today I've got a range of questions for you to have a look at. Feel free to press pause and to try the questions and then hopefully you get them right. And that's it, so let's get started. Hi, welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be looking at a mixture of trigonometry questions. So we've looked at our basic trigonometry, our two old angels skipped over heaven, Karen A harp or Sokatoa. And we've looked at the sine rule, so A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. Or if you find in an angle, it may be useful to flip it over and write sine A over little a equals sine B over little B equals sine C over little C. We've looked at the cosine rule, which is equal to A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A to find the length of this side and also we've looked at how to find the area for triangle using trigonometry so the area for triangle is equal to a half a b sine c that's important to know when to use each of these so for instance if it's a right angle triangle and you know the size of two of the sides and you want to find the size of an angle you'd use your basic trigonometry if it's a right angle triangle and you know one of the sides in an angle you can use basic trigonometry to find the length of one of the other sides so that's whenever you'd use your basic trigonometry those right angle triangles also if you had for instance an isosceles triangle you could chop it down vertically and get right angles and things like that or even if you had for instance a rectangle you can cut it across diagonally so be on the lookout for those right angle triangles so in terms of the sine rule if you get a length of a side for instance here a and then you know the size of the angle opposite it so here capital a then you can perhaps use the sine rule if you know one of the lengths of the other side to so then find the size of an angle and so on so whenever you've got lengths of sides and angles opposite each other the sine rule can be quite useful in terms of the cosine rule in terms of the cosine rule if you've got the lengths of two sides and the angle in between them then you can use the cosine rule to work out the length of the third side of the triangle and the cosine rule is also really useful because if you know the length of all three sides you can use the cosine rule to find the size of the angles and then there for triangle if you've got two sides and the angle in between them you can use the half a b sine c to find the area of the triangle so that's when you would use each of those so let's have a look at some questions now i'm going to put up a question and it's going to be for a chance for you to try it and see if you can remember how to approach it and then to do each of the questions so let's have a look at our first question okay so let's have a look at our first question so here we've got a triangle and the question says find the length of AC so press pause now and find the length of AC okay so if we have a look at this this is clearly not a right angle triangle so we're not going to be using our basic trigonometry here and actually we've got a size of an angle and the length of a side opposite it so in this question it'll be quite useful if we use the sine rule and we're finding one of the length of the sides let's just call that X the length of AC so we're going to be using a over sine a equals b over sine b so we're going to be using the cosine rule in this question and we're going to be using it in that format with the sides on the top so let's substitute in our values so x is the length of a side and 140 degrees is the size of the angle opposite it so i'm going to write x over sine 140 degrees is equal to b over sine b so equal to 14 divided by sine 20. so we substitute our values into the sine rule x over sine 140 is equal to 14 over sine 20. now we just need to work this out so i'm going to work out the right hand side to begin with so 14 divided by the sine of 20 and that's equal to 40.933 and so on so we've got x divided by the sine of 140 is equal to 40.9332616 now we want to find out what x is so i'm going to multiply both sides by multiply both sides by sine 140 so multiply both sides by the sine of 140 and then we get that x is equal to 40.933 and so on multiplied by the sine of 140. now this is already on my calculator display so i'm going to get the x X is equal to multiply by the sine of 140 is equal to 26.3113933 and so on centimeters and the question might ask you to round it so i'm going to round that to two decimal places so that'll be 26.31 centimeters to two decimal places and if you got that well done so that was a sine rule question and if you got that well done okay let's have a look at our next question okay so let's have a look at our next question so here we've got a triangle abc and we've been asked to find the length of ab so feel free to press pause now and find the length of ab okay so in terms of this question it's a right angle triangle so that's fantastic so let's label the sides if this is the right angle the side opposite it will be the hypotenuse 
If this is the angle that's involved in the question, it's 18 degrees. The side opposite would be called the opposite, and then that means the other side here is the adjacent. So if we label the sides, now let's jot down our trig ratios. Okay, so I've just jotted down the trig ratios. The tan of the angle is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. The sine of the angle is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse, and the cos of an angle is equal to the adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Now in this question, we've been asked to find the length of AB, so that's this side. Let's just call it X to begin with here. So we're trying to find the length of this side with the adjacent. We've been given the hypotenuse. Now we're not using and we're not trying to find the opposite, so let's cross that off and cross off any trig ratio involving the opposite. So we're not using tan, we're not using sine. In this question, we're going to be using cos. So the cos of the angle is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So let's substitute our values. So the cos of the angle, so that's 18 degrees, the cos of 18 degrees is equal to the adjacent, so that's x, divided by the hypotenuse, that's 9. So I've just replaced the angle with 18 degrees, I've replaced the adjacent with x, and I've replaced the hypotenuse with 9. Now we want to solve this, we want to find x, so we don't want this to divide by 9, so we're going to multiply both sides of this by 9. So we're going to get the cos of 18, close brackets, multiplied by 9, is equal to x. So we just type this into our calculator, we'll get our answer. So that means that x is equal to 8.55950 And if we run that to two decimal places, that'll be 8.56 centimeters to two decimal places. And if you got that, well done. Okay, so we've had a look at that question. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, so here's another triangle, ABC. And I would like you to find the area of this triangle, ABC. So press pause now and find the area for this triangle. Okay, so in terms of the area of a triangle, remember the area of a triangle is a half AB sine C. So if we look at this triangle, we've got two sides and the angle in between them. So we can use a half AB sine C. So as long as you've got the length of two sides and the angle in between them, you can use that formula. So the area is a half AB sine C. So it's a half multiplied by the length of the two sides and then the sine of the angle in between them. So it's gonna be a half multiplied by 5.4 multiplied by 3.6, multiplied by the sine of the angle in between them, so the sine of 70 degrees. And that's it, if we just type this into our calculator, we get that's equal to 9.13381227474 centimeters squared. And let's just run that to three decimal places. So the three decimal places, that'll be 9.134 centimeters squared. And that's the area of that triangle. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Okay, this time we've got a triangle and we've got the lengths of the three sides, 70 meters, 50 meters, and 80 meters. And I want you to find the size of angle ACB. So angle ACB. So find the size of this angle here. So press pause now and find the size of this angle. Okay, so if we've got a triangle and we've got the length of all three sides, and it's not a right angle triangle, or we don't know if it's a right angle triangle, so we're going to use the cosine rule. So the cosine rule, remember, is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Okay, so that's the cosine rule. Remember, it's given to you, so you can just look that up. So if you've got a triangle and you've got the length of all three sides, you can use the cosine rule to find the size of an angle. So in terms of this, remember, a capital A is the angle, so this is the angle, and little a is the side opposite it. So in this case, we're trying to find the size of angle a. ACB, so we want to find the size of this angle. I'm just going to call it Vita. So we want to find the size of this angle. So this would be A and this would be little a, and then B and C are the two other sides. So in terms of this, let's substitute our values. So A squared, that's going to be the side opposite the angle. So that's going to be 70 squared is equal to B squared. So it doesn't matter which way around the B and the C are. So 80 squared plus 50 squared. So 80 squared plus 50 squared minus 2 times B times C. So that's going to be 2 times 80 times 50 multiplied by the cos of the angle. So it's going to be multiplied by the cos of Vita. Okay, so we now just need to solve this and find Vita. Okay, so 70 squared is 4,900 is equal to 80 squared is 6,400 plus 50 squared is 2,500. Subtract 2 times 80 times 50. So 2 times 80 times 50 is equal to 8,000. And then we'll multiply that by the cos of Vita, so cos Vita. So if we just add these two together, the 6,400 and the 2,500, we get 4,900 is equal to 8,900 subtract 8,000 cos vita. Now we want to find out what cos vita is, so let's get rid of this 8,900 on this side. So let's take that away from both sides. So let's take away 8,900 from both sides. So we get on the left-hand side, 4,900 take away 8,900 will be minus 4,000. And on the right-hand side, we then just be left with, well, if we take away the 8,900, we'll be left with minus 8,000 cos vita. So minus 8,000 cos vita. 
Okay, now we want to find out what Vita is, so we don't want this minus 8,000 here, so this is minus 8,000 times cos Vita, so let's divide both sides by minus 8,000, so let's divide the left-hand side by minus 8,000, and let's divide the right-hand side by minus 8,000. Minus 4,000 divided by minus 8,000 would be 0.5 or a half, so we get a half is equal to cos Vita. So we've got the cos of the angle is equal to half, now you just need to do the inverse cos, so the inverse cos of a half would be equal to 60 degrees. So that means that this angle is 60 degrees, so Vita is 60 degrees. And if you got that, well done. And that's it, we've found the size of that angle. That angle is 60 degrees. So if we've got a triangle and you've got the length of all three sides, you can use the cosine rule to find the size of one of the angles. And that's really useful. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So here we've got another triangle, ABC, and I would like you to find the length of BC. So press pause now and find the length of BC. Okay, so here we've got a triangle and we know the length of two sides and the angle in between them. So when you've got the length of two sides and the angle in between them and you want to find the length of the third side, you're going to use the cosine rule. So the cosine rule is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Okay, where a, b, and c are the length of the sides, and a is the size of the angle. Okay, so I've written down the cosine rule, and remember that the side we're trying to find, let's just call that x in this question, that's going to be a, so we've got that x squared is equal to b squared plus c squared, that's the length of the two sides, and it doesn't actually matter which way around they go, so I'm going to do 48 squared plus 50 squared minus 2 times 48 times 50 times the cos of the angle, and that's going to be the cos of 79 degrees, so the cos of 79 degrees. Okay, so let's work this out. So we can actually type this into our calculator in one go. So we can do x squared is equal to, and just be careful whenever you type it in, 48 squared plus 50 squared minus 2 times 48 times 50 times the cos of 79, close brackets. And when we do that, we get that's equal to 3,888.116822. That's not obviously not the length of that side, that's that side squared. So we're going to square root that, so we're going to square root 3,888.116822. And when we square root that, we get an answer of x is equal to 62.3547 and so on centimeters and that's it and that's how you find the length of that side so if you've got a triangle and you know the length of two sides and the angle in between them you can use the cosine rule to find the length of that third side and that's it okay let's have a look at another question okay so this time we've got a triangle abc and i want you to find the size of this angle angle acb that angle there vita so press pause now and find the size of that angle Okay, so in terms of this question, it's a right angle triangle. We know the length of two sides and we want to find the size of an angle, so we're just going to use trigonometry. So let's jot down our trig ratios. Okay, so I've just jotted down the trig ratios, and so let's label our side. So this is the angle that we're trying to find, so the side opposite it will be the opposite. Then we've got a right angle, so the side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse, and that means the other side, this side here, will be the adjacent. Then this question, we're going to be using the opposite and the adjacent, so we're not using and we're not trying to find the hypotenuse, so we cross that off, and we can cross off any trig ratio that has the hypotenuse. So in terms of we're not going to be using sine, we're not going to be using cos, in this question we're going to be using tan. So we've got the tan of the angle, so the tan of the angle will be equal to the opposite, so it's going to be 1.7, so 1.7 divided by the adjacent, which is 2.4. Okay, so 1.7 divided by 2.4 is 17.24, or as a decimal, we get that the tan of Vita will be equal to 0.7083 recurring, so 3, 3, 3, 3, and so on. So obviously the size of that angle is in 0.7083333 and so on degrees. That's the tan of the angle. So if we want to find the angle, we're going to do the inverse tan. So the angle will be equal to the inverse tan, or tan minus 1, of 0.7083 reoccurring, or you could type in actually you could have actually have typed in the inverse tan of and then just typed in our 1.7 divided by 2.4 and close brackets either one of those and whenever you do that press equals so the inverse tan of that is equal to vita is equal to 35.3112 and so on degrees and that's the size of that angle so if you've got a right angle triangle and you know the length of two sides you can use basic trigonometry to find the size of one of the angles okay let's have a look at our next question Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this time we've got a triangle, and actually one of the sides is extended, and we've been asked to find the size of this angle here, Vita. So feel free to press pause now and find the size of this angle, Vita. 
Okay, so as you can see here, this triangle is not a right angle triangle, and it's not a right angle triangle because this angle is obtuse, so we can't have an obtuse angle and a right angle in the same triangle. So this triangle obviously isn't right angled. So that means we're going to probably be using the sine rule or the cosine rule or something like that in this question. Now, if we have a look here, we've got the size of an angle and the length of a side opposite it. So I'm thinking of the sine rule. And actually, yes, if we look at it, we've got the size of this angle and the length of this side. And then if we've got the length of this side, we can find the size of this angle. So let's do that. Let's call this angle x, and let's find the size of angle x to begin with by using the sine rule. So remember the sine rule. Now we're trying to find an angle. So I'm actually going to do sine A over little a equals sine B over little b. So whenever I'm doing using the sine rule, if I'm trying to find the size of an angle, I flip it over. And um, if you're finding the length of a side, you would use a over sine a equals b over sine b. So we've got sine a over little a equals sine b over little b. Now we want to find the size of this angle here. So I'm going to write the sine of x over and then obviously then I would use the side opposite it so that's going to be 11 is equal to the sine of the, the other angle so that's the sine of 135 over b which is then the side opposite it which is 18. So let's work this out in our calculator this right hand side so that would be equal to root 2 over 36 or 0.03 9 2 8 3 7 and so on and then on our left hand side we've got sine of x divided by 11. So we've just worked this out. We've taken the sine of 135 and divided it by 18. Now we want to find out what x is, so we don't want this to divide by 11. So let's multiply both sides by 11. So this is already on my calculator display. So I'm just going to press times 11 equals. And that gives me 11 root 2 over 36, or as a decimal number, sine x is equal to 0 0.43212 and so on. So that's the sine of this angle. We want to find the size of this angle, so we're now going to do the inverse sine. So the inverse sine of 0 0.43212 and so on, because obviously this angle is obviously not 0 0.4 degrees. So if we press on our calculator, shift sine of answer is equal to, so we get that that's equal to, we get we get that x is equal to 25.6022276 degrees. So that means that this angle, this angle x is 25.6022276 degrees. Now we want to find the size of Vita. Now this is a straight line, so we're going to take this away from 180. So we're going to do 180, take away 25.6022 and so on. Now I've already got this on my calculator display, so I can just press 180. Takeaway answer is equal to 154.39777 and so on. And let's just round that to one decimal place. That'll be 154.4 degrees. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at a mix of trigonometry questions. And hopefully that's boosted your confidence with your basic trigonometry, your 3D trig, your sine rule, your cosine rule, your half A, B, sine C, your exact trig values and so on. So hopefully it's boosted your confidence with those. It's a week to go, so keep up the hard work. And at this point, what I'll be saying is make sure that any particular topics that you've been finding tricky, that you're trying to do something about it. So, for instance, if you've been finding vectors tricky, maybe go pop into school, see if your teacher can help you out with vectors, or watch the Code Master video tutorial on vectors and so on. But keep up the hard work. It is a week to go. You can do it. Keep up the hard work, and I'll see you later. Cheers. Bye.